Okay, so I finished the cigar box and added a few things, not a lot. I still kept the integrity and the look of the cigar box and making sure that it looked like it was when I got it. Cause you know, who likes stuff that looks brand new, especially being in the elements and being banged around. So you can, see, you can tell right here that, you know, I left this on. Uh, I may sand it down a little bit later cause it's a little rough, but I pretty much kept everything there. Uh, mostly what I did was sand down to certain areas that were a little bit harsh. Also, um, this comes off, but take off this crisp It's an actual um, case cover. But um, I actually sounded the edges down here to allow this for a little bit better glide, because if not, the actual uh, tray was actually sticking a lot, and um, so it wouldn't allow it. I would actually have to nudge on it. So, but yeah, add it, these little dividers which are um, molding pieces of molding on a UFI Home Depot but uh, yeah I was able to fit in um, ten of them one two three four five six seven eight nine, nine I'm sorry <laughs> um, I probably could have fit ten if I use thinner ones but I think this is good for now and yeah just added this added these to make it look a little bit more better but, and then added a nice little walnut stain to make every uh, wood look even. Not just blotches of wood here, different colors. Also added a two by four, this on both hands. Eh, a little sloppy job, but it works. Stained that one too, it looked really good with it. So, sand it down. But yeah, this is it. This is the tray that, um, these are the cigar boxes. This is the cigar box that I actually got from that cigar shop. So it's actually not bad. Uh, it's gonna work for a while because I really like the rugged right look for me. But yeah, here it is. Oh glory. Alright, thanks for watching.